Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day full of only positive vibes. Back with another season update. Today, we got the brand new Battle Pass and way more. So, let's go ahead and hop into the game right away. All right, the first thing you guys will see, Season 1 Battle Pass. So, brand new season, uh, I guess, Chapter 2 Season 1 is what we're going to call it. But brand new Battle Pass is going to be here. So, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, find out who will be in new order. Holiday Reclaim map is also available. Uh, first things first, let's check out the events. Usually, there's always brand new things here. So, that's the main thing. Daily Login will be a Battle Hardened skin. It's going to be... What is this? Axon? It's actually pretty nice. I actually like it. Pretty clean. It's not as uh, ugly as the uh, free one we got the other time, but uh, that one is pretty nice. Daily mission, same as regular. Let's go ahead and check the seasonal stuff. Uh, you can unlock a new uh, banner. I forgot the name of this, to be honest. Calling card. And then Master of One will just give you a bunch of credits. So that's actually a good 6,000 credits to be exact. And we got a new featured stuff here to give you a brand new, uh, what should we call it? ASM 10, which I got nerfed, but also buffs. There's no stock up buff, so it made a pretty good close range. But that we'll probably make a video about that. But there should be a new event coming out real soon, probably within the next two days, is what my guess would be. Probably Thursday night, if I had to guess. Um, other than that, doesn't look like there's anything new. Maybe store, we'll check the credit store, see the new crates that came out. There is, it looks like the Cyber Shogun crate. Uh, we are going to be downloading, but we can see the profit. Actually, it's a rare skin. That's kind of rare that the profit skin is rare. And you got the Ted hardware update. That's actually really nice. And you get the sword. We'll probably maybe do one, one pull off stream or something like that. I'm surprised I have to read down everything. Uh, other than that, nothing too new. Bundles. Ooh, untidy bundle giving you golem. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Credit shop, new update. We got the new Lunar Tide Merc 2. Not bad at all. We got the tactician DRH Lunar Tide as well. Again, DRH skins, we've already got a bunch of these. HSO, Gold Glitter's been already here. I think that's the only really new stuff that we got from there. But let's go ahead and just take a look at the Battle Pass. It's going to be the main reason we're here. AG40, epic character. I'm going to skip this. It's really loud for me, personally speaking. So take a look at the skin that you can acquire. And we're, gonna, we're not going to lock the full thing. We're going to go ahead and lock it until we get the new gun, which um, we'll take a look at. And we will be grinding this on stream literally close to right after this video goes live. Probably closer to like 9, maybe 8.30 p.m. EST. But Cordite Tech Noir skin going to be available. So we're just going to take a look at everything that we get as well as what you get as a... Uh, actually, let's double check if rank got reset. I highly doubt the rank got reset. No, it did not get reset. So we're probably going to get a reset in about another month or so. So we go ahead and take the battle pass. Uh, free stuff that you unlock. You get a chicken skin. All right. So the first thing you get if you unlock it is the David Mason skin. That's kind of cool. Kind of vibing with that. I love this little Joy-Con kind of vibe. So that's kind of cool. Uh, what else we got? You got some free, nothing here. We unlock the FDL skin, which I personally think is fantastic of a skin. We also have the, ooh, that's the um, the black hole gun. That's actually really nice. You get that at level 14. That's actually really sweet. I like that a lot. We also get this, uh, what gun is this? Is this the, oh, that's the Locust. We got the Locust, the free gun at level 21, as expected, as usual. The FR556 or the FAMS, as uh, some people might know it as. Level 30, get the uh, Profit Geist. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then finally, at level 40, we'll get the HG40. For free, you'll get the XPR, I believe. Yeah, the XPR skin. But you do get the gun. And then at level 50, you'll get the... Uh, I forgot the name of this character. Spectre... It should be with Chrome. Spectre Chrome. And you get the Rogue Agent, which... Um, I'll eventually unlock this while we play, but the main thing for me is we're just going to level it up until we get to level 12 because I... Uh, 21, sorry. I don't know why I said 12. Uh, just because we only care for the um, the gun because I'm going to... I'm going to unlock it. I always do level 21 because I want to get the gun right off the bat. And I also want to get the FFR, but David Mason will get our skin as well. There we go. I mean, honestly, the skins probably don't look too fantastic in game. Ooh, the Echo, right? Or HBR? Might be the HBR. Iron Sight look the same, so it doesn't look like anything I really want to take a look at. But FDL Powerline, I love that skin. We already had a lot of green skins with Axe. I didn't know they came with an Axe. You got a lot of skins here. That's crazy. That's kind of crazy. All right, so I actually want to purchase until tier 21. It's going to cost me a total of about 2,000. One, 2,020, so approximately that much 
we're gonna go definitely unlock the gold one we do have the locust which is a square scope don't know how to feel too much about that but i'm uh, still more excited about the famas aka the uh fr556 so we're gonna ahead and use that in one of our lots let's just this change this one here all right assault rifle i'm excited to see the damage and how much it does really so all right there we go quick equip we're gonna use all our points here max upgrade that um, all in it's gonna cost you 51 cards to uh no maybe more sorry i didn't check how many but let's see how many attachments you get that's going to be really important for me personally speaking uh seems to have the same regular thing for here the barrels it does have a light bread that gives five mobility that's actually gonna be huge so you can potentially do a very good close range build you don't actually lose too much and then nothing with recoil control but you can get a lot of 80 spread here so uh, personally speaking, I don't know which one is going to be really good. Optics, regular, same old stock. Probably not going to be a no stock, so probably going to have to use this combat stock or steady stock. So um, that's going to be a thing. Ammunition, we do have the extended mag and the fast reload, so nothing too crazy. Rear grip, regular, under barrel has the regular as well. And then we have the laser sight. So, oh, well, not, no, nothing crazy. Perks, actually, maybe just a burst perk. Maybe there'll be a burst perk coming out. Who knows? Who knows? But we do have that equipped. And also, we already have the Damascus of this. Oh, we don't even have it unlocked yet. Once we get gold, we'll have it unlocked. So, that they changed that of recently. Because uh, before, you basically unlocked it for free. But we can check out how the diamond looks. Ooh, the diamond is clean. The gold is, is, is pretty nice. Then you have the platinum is always poop. Damascus is pretty okay. And then you have the diamond, which looks pretty clean in my opinion. So without attachment, let's go ahead and take a look how this gun feels. Actually, let's just equip one skin. doesn't really matter if you guys do, like the two skins that we got was the David Mason skin, which he do have small hitboxes. It looks like small hitboxes. And then we have the FTL, which I, I, I personally like. But again, it's going to be very bright. And I probably wouldn't use this in VR just because people can see you probably from far. But the main thing is uh, really... That's all we're looking for. Let's go ahead and just take a look at it in the training. Just to see the damage and how the reload and all that stuff. That's really the main thing, the recoil pattern that you want to take a look. But we will be taking a look at this as soon as you know we can to grind it. Uh, pretty fast ADS speed, close range, you know? No attachments. All right, so close range damage, 30 damage, fast rate of fire, headshot multiplier should be... There's no headshot multiplier? Oh, it's probably like one of those chest multipliers, right? Yeah, okay. So, 25 damage, and then upper body ch chest multiplier. So, that's actually kind of unique. So, it has built-in um, high-caliber mag. So, that's kind of cool. Base magazine is going to be 30. That's kind of on the lower end. If you shoot the lower leg, it's 22, and then chest. So, it's going to be a four-tap close. Even the hands, I think. So, that's good to note that the hand is a four-tap. Recoil pattern, close range. Pretty manageable, in my opinion. Let's go 10 meters, see what the damage drop off is. Same thing, so that's actually really good. So that, that way, if you like four tap someone close range, that's really, really nice. I actually like that a lot. Uh, 25 meters, probably a little bit more. Oh, okay, N damage drop off is probably the same. That's actually good. So if you can hit your shots, you can actually beam someone four tap 20 meters. The recoil pattern, as you guys can see, uh, probably a little bit to the right, but it's still very manageable, right? If, you, if you're able to control that, pretty solid. Uh, maybe add a little lateral recoil control, but honestly, the first few shots are not that bad. The first few shots are not that bad at all. Let's take a look. 30 meters. Probably not a realistic beam, but yeah, the damage drop off is actually a lot. 19, 20. So kind of crazy. Seems like a close to mid range kind of gun. I definitely wouldn't use it long range. Recoil is not going to be too manageable, but obviously you already know your boy likes doing these long range builds. We're definitely going to be trying it out, but we're going to be grinding the diamond of this. But this gun looked pretty good. Actually, let's reload. Actually, that reload is actually pretty nice. I like that reload animation. Pretty clean in my opinion. Just a quick look at this skin. Actually really nice. I actually like it a lot. Uh, I don't have the other skins except for David Mason, but this is what we have here. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the Battle Pass. Battle Pass is pretty cool, but um, I don't know if it's like one of the best. Like the gun skins are like, okay. The character skins are really nice. So I don't know how to feel about it, but let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.